Welcome to Glitch Gaming. Today we'll talk about Ryzen 3000 and the new overclocking settings in the most recent BIOS updates. AMD announced the release of the third iteration of the Ryzen product line based on the Zen 2 architecture during CES 2019. AMD CEO Dr. Lisa Su also stated that Ryzen 3rd Gen will be backwards compatible with the AM4 socket. This makes upgrading really easy and a value proposition. Motherboard manufacturers like ASUS and MSI have begun rolling out BIOS updates which adds initial support to run engineering samples of the Zen 2 chips. AMD has confirmed that it will use the multi-chip module design in which one or two 7nm Zen 2 CPU core chiplets will talk to a 14nm IO controller die over the Infinity fabric. The first benefit of this is that it is more economical to manufacture only those components that can take advantage of the die shrink to 7nm like the CPU. And the second benefit is that it will be easier to manufacture mid-range SKUs since they can physically deploy only one chiplet instead of harvesting dies with faulty cores. The downside of this approach is that the memory controller is no longer physically integrated with the processor cores. Well yes, the memory controller is a part of the CPU package but is not on the same piece of silicon as the processing cores. As the CPU cores are a part of the 7nm chiplet and the memory controller is a part of the 14nm IO controller die. As a result, there needs to be an interconnect between the CPU cores and the IO module which houses the memory controller. AMD is now leveraging the Infinity fabric, its high bandwidth scalable interconnect and it seems that AMD will be introducing a new version of the Infinity fabric that offers more bandwidth up to 100 gigabytes per second. The folks at Tech Power Up and their resident Ryzen memory guru Yuri aka Wanasmas examined the latest BIOS updates and found several new options that are exclusive to Matisse. The first change is to the U-Clock options. The Infinity fabric runs at a frequency synchronized to the memory frequency and while doing serious memory overclocking there is a possibility that the Infinity fabric can't handle the increased memory speed. The new BIOS has the following options. The memory clock by 2 is a new option and will be critical in achieving stability when overclocking the memory but at the cost of some Infinity fabric bandwidth. Precision Boost Overdrive will receive more fine gain control at the BIOS level and AMD is making significant changes to this feature to make the boost setting more flexible and improve the algorithm. Although current 400 series boards and Ryzen 2nd gen are facing issues with the latest BIOS, as a disclaimer, I would suggest against upgrading the BIOS. If it isn't broken, then don't fix it. The Matisse processor will also provide users with finer control over active cores, since the AM4 package has two 8-core chiplets. You will have the option to disable an entire chiplet or adjust the core count in decrements of two. There is also an option to select the PCI Express generation up to Gen 4, indicating that 500 series chipsets will and some 400 series chipset boards might support PCI Gen 4. AMD seems to be keeping good on promises and achieving what they set out to. Will this cause troubles for Intel? What do you think? Are you excited about what AMD is bringing to the table? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. That does it for this video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.